So let's take a look at some general physical and chemical properties of alkanoic acids. Of course, being acids, in solution, so in water, they contain hydrogen ions or protons and if we take an example, for example uh, ethanoic acid, it dissociates in water Dissociate means to split up, if you want, and it splits up into a ethanoate ion and a hydrogen ion, uh, something like this. So we've got the ethanoic acid. And this is in aqueous solution. And this is a reversible reaction, which we show with arrows like this. And it dissociates to produce a negative ion. So this is negative. And again, this is an aqueous plus a positive hydrogen ion. So, and this is ethanoic acid. In an aqueous solution, giving the negative ethanoate ion and the hydrogen ion, sometimes called a, a proton. You might read that in your textbook because actually a hydrogen ion consists simply of one uh, proton. If we write that as a normal chemical equation, it would be CH3, CWH, an aqueous solution. As I said, a reversible reaction, giving the CH3, C double O minus, again, aqueous, plus the hydrogen ion, which is also aqueous. Actually, uh, this here should also the aqueous. Um, as I said, this is a reversible reaction. And in fact, only some of the molecules dissociate therefore because only some of them unlike other inorganic acid like sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid these are what we call weak acids they are the typical uh, properties of acids so they turn blue litmus red they conduct electricity
and they taste sour and you you know that if you if you've tasted vinegar it tastes sour and that's because of the really because of the hydrogen ion let's look at a second typical property just like other acids they react with metals and bases to produce salt and water in the case of bases or salt and hydrogen when they react with metals so let's take uh, again ethanoic acid CH3 CH3 CWOH vinegar if you want acetic acid um, in aqueous solution and we add it to a base in this case sodium hydroxide again this is aqueous and this produces a salt sodium ethanoate and that's also aqueous and water so as I said this is ethanoic acid vinegar sodium hydroxide sodium ethanoate and water so it reacts as a as a typical acid if you want an important physical property is the fact that it's a polar molecule now if you remember the electrons in molecules and they're flying all over the place polar molecules typically have hydrogen bonds between the molecules much like in water but let's take a look at the hydrogen bonding in alkanoic acid so and what happens is is that the electrons tend to move towards the op the double bonded oxygen making this part of the molecule negative and this part of the molecule positive so these are electrons tend to drift over in that direction if we bring in another alkanoic acid or C this time we'll have the OH there and the double bonded oxygen here and again the same the same things happening there of course the electrons are tending to move towards the oxygen atom making this negative and this positive and so as you can see we would expect here a hydrogen bond so-called hydrogen bond between the positive and negative parts this is also uh, just like water if you think water is actually two quite light gases but because it's a polar molecule it's actually a, a liquid water is a liquid a couple of things this makes the acids soluble in water and so if you think about it in the water again the electrons tend towards the oxygen so water looks something like this and if we have the 
alkanoic acid you can see that the negative uh, oxygen atom there would tend to form hydrogen bonds here so this makes them soluble in water um, this polar molecule or these hydrogen bonds also if you want hold them together hold these molecules together which uh, changes physical properties so it increases for example the melting point and boiling point Thank you.